Hi, in today's video I'm going to take a look at Rising Newsboat, the command line RSS reader. Rising is basically theming an application. There was a guy called DJ Bauer who posted a post on Reddit about a year ago, which I just came across, about how he uh, themed Newsboat. Basically the interesting thing is he's actually got dividers here between all the sections. So if you come down here, there's a link down the bottom saying he set up a um, GitHub repository. So if we come across here, you can see the screenshot a bit better. Um, now this is great, but I have a couple of issues with it. Um, firstly, um, it doesn't make sense to me to have the category over here on the right, because um, you're gonna read from left to right. Um, so that was one thing that bugged me. and. Um, I'm not a fan of loads of different colours and stuff, but what I was interested in was the actual way to divide up your feed list um, with lines. So basically what you're saying down here is he sets up dummy feeds which um, are recognised by not having any content and then sets them as headers. So what I'll do is come across and show you his config and then what I'll do is show you um, how I've tweaked it a bit um, for my liking um, and some of the ins and outs of um, theming Newsboat. So the first thing we're going to do is come across the URLs. And what you'll see here is he's got the URLs, but above each um, set of URLs, there's um, like a name, like blog, YouTube, Twitter. And these are actually what are used as the headings. So this is the first step. This is the actual format that you're going to be putting your URLs in. Um, and he's got a little bar thing here, which um, I don't use, but I'll go into that. So first of all, this is the actual format um, of the URLs. And next what I'll do is actually come into his config and scroll down here. So if you have a look down here, you see these are the two sections. Um, the highlight feed list, and he's got these sort of vertical bars and this one here, and then this feed list format. And this may look like complete gibberish, all this question mark, percent, or I, N. So what I'll do is um, open up the newsboat site and go to the documentation to um, show you that. So uh, if we just come across the newsboat, um, Okay, so what happens is when you get Newsboat, you get newsboat.org and GitHub. If we come across to GitHub, this will have links to the actual documentation. So this is the site and it's got like notable features here. And if you just click one of these links, it's going to actually open the documentation here. So what we're going to do is just come across. Um, so this is the sort of first steps and what we're looking for is um, stuff about the um, the highlighting and also the um, all that percent um, I and stuff and those are basically newsboat sort of commands. So these are the sort of colours um, that you can use that are built in, but you can also use um, terminal colours like colour twelve or colour four. Um, and these are some of the options you can do, like blink, dim. Um, and these are the things that you can actually theme, background, list focus, list normal. Um, and some of these are only available in later versions of Newsboat. So, um, for instance, I'm running on Ubuntu 2004, and I don't think mine is quite as up to date as some of these. Um, but this explains the, the colors. And if I come down here, um, there's a whole section on the um, there's the tags and what we're looking for. These are some of the these are all the options and right down. Got to scroll right down. Okay, so these are the um, format strings and this is similar to printf, um, which you may be familiar with for printing. Uh, you know, up in the terminal. And basically this explains what all these different symbols mean. So we've got different things. We have different views like uh, feed list format, um, article format. And these are all the 
um, things that you can use to um, display uh, different stuff in Newsboat, basically. So these are all the flags, and these correspond to these things here. So for instance, um, if you're doing like percent four I, and this like sets padding. Um, so if you have um, positive numbers, that sets a left padding, and a negative number sets a right padding. So it's a bit bit confusing. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do is just come in and show you um, how I've changed it. So I say this is basically his setup, and um, main issue I had was basically having these um, on the right. Um, and also, I'm not a fan of multicolored things. I just find it a bit glaring. So what I'll do is I'll um, open Newsboat up here. And you see how I've um, changed it. But the other thing I should mention is that um, another issue that I found was actually having different lengths of text could throw the uh, alignment of these lines. So what I've done is um, I prefer a very simple color scheme. And I have it set so that when I move the cursor up and down, the actual line is highlighted. And what I've done is actually moved the um, heading to the left and prepended it with a hash symbol. And that made sense to me because uh, if you see hash and a, uh, a word, you're instantly going to recognize that as a tag, like a, you know, like a Twitter tag. Um, that sort of thing. So it just made more sense to me um, to have that sort of layout. So at the top, what we've got is meta queries. And what these can do is basically pull in a list of um, all your particular feeds. So for instance, down here, I have um, a load of video feeds uh, about Newcastle United on YouTube. And these are all tagged um, Newcastle. And basically, I can create a feed that um, aggregates all of those into one place. So instead of me, you know, coming into each one of these, I can just go into this feed and it shows all of these. And what you can see here is we've got, um, you know, new, got the date, we've got the, um, the channel here, and then we've got the uh, title. So that's the sort of meta feed. And as you can see down here, we've got all our regular feeds. And these, these, um, these are basically fake feeds that are empty that are set as the headlines. So let me just grab some tea. So what I'm going to do is basically go, sh go through and show you how you set up your uh, URL file so you can have the format and then also how um, in your config file you can basically uh, achieve this sort of layout where you have a line down the left hand side and you have these things coming off and it's very similar um, to something like WeChat, um, an IRC client where in the sidebar you will see like a list of channels that you are logged into. <clears throat> um, so that was my thinking is to have um, something that's clearly identifiable as a tag on the left because it just makes it easier to scan through. I can see, okay, news, tune, tune is Newcastle, uh, tech, comedy, general, Emacs, OBS, Reddit. So that made sense to me. And then the other issue that I wanted to address was um, if you just have a line, you can see here in his version here, the line is a solid line going all the way across to here. Um, but the issue is if you kind of do that, it, um, it looks really weird um, to have um, uneven amounts of text. So these, these headings are obviously different length. So it just looks odd having line going all the way across here. So what I've done is actually added negative spacing, which um, basically puts spacing to the right. Um, and I sort of calculate it. So basically you, you can see up here that this line lines up perfectly with the header up here. And then we've got the, the feeds. And again, this line then lines up 
um, with this left edge and with the right edge here. So it just makes it, um, my opinion, sort of more readable, especially if you're used to using Newsboat where there's no dividers, which is the default. And basically what you end up with is just a massive list of feeds and it's very difficult visually to um, to see what the categories are. Um, and it just makes it a bit annoying to use. So that's what we wanted to basically do is um, separate our categories visually in newsboats so that we can easily at a glance see, okay, these are that's one section. You know, we can look on the left, we've got the tag there, and just go through everything. So it's just much more convenient to actually um, use. So what I'm gonna do is come through and open Emacs and come across to my newsboat config. So the first thing is the URLs. Um, so these are very simple. Um, basically the format is a single um, word here, um, followed by the feeds. And as you can see here, these are the query feeds. These are the um, feeds at the top of my list. And basically what this does is, this sets a query and this is the name. So that's the name that is displayed. Bring this up again so you can see. So that's the first query feed and that's the name. And you can see also I have um, notify send um, enabled. And what this does is when it loads up, it's gonna show you how many um, new articles you've got and everything. And also notify send, you can set Newsboat to automatically refresh, say every half an hour. And then what you'll get is a desktop notification saying new feed in the Magpie channel or something, a new article in the Magpie channel. Um, so that was just a, a brief note on um, the notification and I'll show you that um, a bit later when I go into the config. But this is the uh, meta feed for um, all the videos on about Newcastle United on YouTube. And basically the way this works is we start with the double quotes, query, colon, and then this is the, the actual title. And then we have tags um, like this. And we have to escape the double quotes. And the, you can see down here, tune, these are, the, these are the actual tags. That's the actual tag, Newcastle. So what this is doing is it's creating a meta tag, uh, which aggregates all these, all these feeds into one um, feed listing. So what I want to do is um, I'll come through and explain the next one. The next one is unread articles again, and that's the title. And then we have unread equals yes. So that will basically show you a list of all your unread articles um, in one place. So it's very, if I come across here, you can basically see these are all from different things, command line, how to geek, Emacs, etc., etc. So those are the query feeds. And now what I want to go into next is um, I'm going to come down and use this as an example. Um, the actual um, format that we and the order um, of the tags. So what I'll just do is if I come across here, what you'll see here is um, the format we've got is it'll show you if you've got new um, items in the feed, the amount. Um, you know how many new items there are, the channel name, and then the tag here. And the order is important. So what I'm going to show you here is this is a tag here, Newcastle. This one here, the double quotes tilde, the magpie channel, that is how you set the name of the feed. So that na these names here, correspond to names down here. Um, the reason why you might want to do that is because um, it actually, otherwise if you don't put that in, it was going to pull the, the name from here. Um, and sometimes, you know, the, 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 they may be all sort of compressed, you know, like for YouTube, it may be like all one word. Um, so this allows you to um, create a custom title for your feed. Now, the important thing is the order. What we're doing is um, in this section down here, you can see we've got the title 
and we've got the, the tag here. When I show you the config file, um, there is a section in there that pulls out that tag and displays it. And the way it works is it pulls out the first tag. So it pulls out the first bit of text after the URL. So this is why we need to put the tag before the custom title, because otherwise what will happen is instead of displaying the tag name, it's just going to play to display tilde the magpie channel, which is not what we want. So that's the first thing is you have to put the tags um, straight after the first tag straight after here. And that's what's going to be displayed. And then you can put the custom name. So that's basically the actual format where we have the the header here, which is just a word um, above the feed. Then we got the feed. And then we have the tag. And then we have the custom name with the tilde. So that's how you set the um, URL configuration file up. And what I'll do now is open the config. So this is my config file. Um, we've got auto reload. And basically what that does is every time you open Newsboat, it's going to reload the feeds. Um, and then we have like max items and this is the the maximum amount of items that it will pull down at one time from a feed we've got a reload time so it basically reloads every 30 minutes um you can do reload threads which basically reloads multiple things at once um repopulate query feeds i believe that is so that by default until it's kind of processed uh, it just shows zero, zero in there, nothing in there. And I think this basically sort of, as it, said, as it says, pre-populates those. Um, clean up on quit, yes. And then these are the external browsers that I've gone to through in previous videos. Um, basically, what I've got is some options to um, use WVM as a browser. Um, then I have a script called Sauron, which basically... Um, Brings up options um, like download, open video, MPV, open it full screen on the second display, um, send the audio to MPV. And then what we've got down here is readability. And this is like readability in your browser where you click the button and it removes all the craft from the web page and just displays the actual article. And this is done with Python. And I'll show you that. And um, finally, what we have is a um, keyboard shortcut to open the article in Firefox and as you can see here I'm using the snap version of Firefox so if you're using the snap version of Firefox the path to open Firefox would be snap bin Firefox whereas the teb the deb version um, would be user bin Firefox so that's just a tip if you're using um, the snap version of Firefox which is now the default install offer um, option when you install Firefox um, on Ubuntu and then what we've got down here is we've got um, BIM style keys. Basically what you do is you sort of unbind the keys first and then you sort of set them. Um, so this is, so we have um, J, K, L and H got up and down, back and forward. And these are settings for pod boat, which is basically a um, built-in uh, podcast client uh, where you can in um, queue up um, podcasts and, and sort of download them and this is the um, the colors and what you'll see here is um, I have um, list focus list unread um, and info here black and blue and this is basically how I set the line to be highlighted so I like to actually be able to see the line I'm on like this um, I just that's just the way I, I like it so that I can come in. I just find it um, easier to have the whole thing highlighted as I move up and down. So that's how I do that. And then what we've got down here is the highlight for the articles. Um, so basically, if I come into um, an article here, um, what you'll see is that the links are um, blue, uh, whereas all the other text is um, gray. Um, and I'm just boring and just like a very simple color scheme. I find having, although you can set each of these um, to have different colors, I just find it really glaring um, and um, it's not for me. 
um, but you, you know you can do that if you want um, but that's how you can basically highlight different stuff so you can see I'm highlighting multiple things here at once um, if you just wanted to have these different you would basically just do you know uh, feed you know title each one of these on its own and have a different color and as you can see here I'm actually using a terminal color um, as opposed to a color name like black red or whatever and this basically allows you to specify um, a color that's supported by your terminal um, and have it display um, display it like that and so this is um, the bit I've pinched from DJ Bauer so what I'll do is I'll just uh, oop, I want to come across to here um, and is config so what you see down here these first two things um, all I've changed is both of these two defaults instead of having these yellow I've changed these to default and I'll, I'll show you how I've changed this uh, feed format feed list format so if I come across here the only change I've made um, on these two the highlight feed list is changing them to default for both of them and bold now this is the feed list format and this section here is basically before the pipe I think that's um, these these options here like T let me just come across um, back to news boat um, so these are the feed list format identifiers and you can see you've got feed description index feed link um, unread flag status feed title first tag uh, um, of a feed in the URL list. Um, so these are the options that are used in uh, in here. Uh, and basically I think this is um, setting it so that if the um, if there's nothing in the feed, um, we, we display it as the heading. And um, I've got four I's. So the I is, um, if I can find the I, should be somewhere your yeah, eyes the feed index so that's the um that's basically the number uh if i just come across here so you can see it starts at, it's actually starting at two so because the query is a fake feed so you can see here too the, the the numbers are the index okay so ah struggling there so that's the index, so it's showing the index. Then at the N is the number of feeds. Uh, the N is the unread flag, rather. So see, this is the unread flag. And then I switch back and forth. You've got the unread flag and then 8U. So the 8U, um, the 8 is a um, term is the padding. So if you have a positive number, you have padding on the left if you have a negative number like minus eight you have a padding on the right um so u is the total unread field so that's the unread field so you can see that's how you have the, the spacing there so you have eight spaces between the new thing and um the unread and then after that, um, you got the t, you got t, and that's the um, the title. So that's basically the title here. So um, t percent t is the title. So percent t, uh, where is it? That's the feed title. Um, so then the next bit down here is. Um, percent capital T um, in these you know parentheses or whatever you know, from bloody hell the things are um, so that is basically this here this, this is pulling out the tag um, and again you can see here first tag of a feed in a feed URL and so that's why I mentioned um, in the config uh, if I just come back to the uh, URLs you have to have um, the tag before the custom name. Otherwise, as I said, what it will do is it would display 
that where the tag should be. So you have the URL, the tag, and then the custom name. Um, and then we've got this and, um, and then the sort of little thing there. And then we've got the hash symbol and we've got percent minus eight T. And so that, what that is, is, um, that is actually this bit here. This is, um, that's this here. So this is where we set, um, the actual title. So these are the, um, the headings above the feeds in the URL, uh, URL and config file. Okay, so that bit is, this is the line here. So this is, this is what's creating this line. And as you can see, we've got basically the and is like saying, um, you know, output that stuff and this. Um, and so again, what we, we've got is the little bar symbol here. Then we've got the hash. We've got the bar and then the hash followed by the actual heading so the heading again i come across the urls that's the heading above the urls so you can see here that's the heading those are the urls um and again we've got this minus eight um so we've got percent minus eight t so what that does is that basically puts eight characters, eight sort of blank spaces um, after the word before the line here. So basically that allows us to line everything up. So we've got the tag here. Um, and again, you could have the line going across, but I, I just don't visually think it looks as good um, because you can see all these are going to be different. Um, words different lengths so it visually looks a bit weird having some text going here some text going there so but it have a bit of space that and as you can see this this all lines up perfectly with that edge and that edge um so you may also need to 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 do this sort of kind of layer you're going to have, want to have short headings do you know what i mean you don't want to have a big long heading because otherwise it's going to go across there and but say this is just how i'm setting up you can play around with it and um you know theme it how you like um but that's basically the only change um i've made is putting the percent t here as you can see if i come across to dj bowers version what you'll see down here is you have sent t question mark and that's basically um why the headings appear on the right and what i found is um the only way i could see to actually get the colors um for these lines going vertically across is to have the feed title on the right um i couldn't figure out a way to actually um have different colored lines without having the that text on the right um but I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I I think just having a, a plain plain lines is absolutely fine. I don't think you need um, something really garish. And the other issue is um, if you have um, you can color these things. You can color um, like these tags, for instance. You can color. Um, you can highlight these tags in different colors. Um, but the issue is that, um, at least my setup, I have a bar that goes across like this. So if you have um, different colors up here um, for the tags and stuff, it's actually going to break this this line. You'd have a blue, solid blue line, and it would be, um, you know, that, that color, and then the blue line would continue, and it just looks weird. And I don't personally think you need... Um, have those things highlighted in different colors um you know that's just me i think having um the the feed title up here the you know 
that you can clearly see is a is a tag so you can clearly see the tag and then you've got the tags next to them here um i think that's fine um again that's that's just me um so that's basically um his setup um and if i come across here into the config you'll see um okay you can see here highlight feed list youtube red um feed list reddit the these correspond to um his tags so uh you can see um these are sort of like the, the tags like tech twitter twitter you know that kind of thing um and so that's what what the sort of pulling out the that's what's highlighting those different tags in those sort of different colors you can see down here so if that's your if that's your kind of thing you can just copy his config um but as i said I, i'm just not a fan of having the um the text on the right I, it, because it just doesn't make sense to me because you you read from left to right if i'm reading something i'm just not going to see that um so that, that's just my personal preference um so that's um github um news boat and i said it's got lots of um tips down here and if you come across down here it will open the documentation where you can actually find about the um available identifiers for the um different views um so you can see here these are like this is a bit about the format strings which explains that it's like printf um and the percent character followed by one of these identifiers um and how you can uh had stuff basically so these are stuff for the feed list which is the, the main view like that but you know when i go into something this is um a different view <clears throat> um and these these are basically the article list format you know these are all the different sort of formats and this is um uh or notify send so let me just come across here you can see at the bottom down here what I've got is notify program uh, in double quotes user bin notify dash send, uh, which you usually installed um, by default on most Linux things. But you may also, um, if you're using a desktop manager, um, a window manager like Xmonad, you're going to want to install Dunst, um, which is a notification daemon um, that basically um, displays the notifications. Um, and you can theme Dunst as well. And I think I've done some videos about Dunst in the past. But that's how you get the notify um, the notifications coming up. And um, you can use that in conjunction with the reload time, which will basically um, reload um, the feeds every X minutes. Um, and when it does that, you should get a a desktop notification saying uh, new article in X feed. Um, which is really useful because you can just keep the news boat open, um, see when someone's posted a new video, um, and then, you know, watch it. Um, so that's basically my sort of config. Um, again, those are the sort of standard options. These are the um, browser options. And what I'll do is um, just show you um, these three things I was going through. Um, basically, saw on script, the readability, and um, opening links in firefox um, and here's the key bindings for vim key bindings um, that's my basic color scheme down here um, a very simple color scheme um, nice and boring um, and again all i changed on here was he's got his as yellow i just changed these to default and in this section here basically what i've done is um, in his version he has the tag and then the um the feed title what i've got is the feed title then the tag um and sort of then the sort of space um so you can see here come back in here so you can basically see what i'm on about we, we've got the tag and we've got space and we've got the alignment there and then all the feeds underneath so what i'll do now is um come through and um show you opening this in uh, readability mode so i press the keyboard shortcut on my uh, keyboard which is uh, period forward slash 
And what it's going to do is um, strip out all the um, crap from the page and just give me the actual article. So I have title. See, this is a URXVT um, displaying the um, the images. So you can see all the images and everything. And um, in a previous video, I also showed you um, have a script that basically allows me to run any W3M function from a keyboard shortcut. So when I want to go back, I can just type exit. Uh, it takes me back to Newsboat. Um, and if I want to open this in um, Firefox, I just press um, a comma L. And that's opening up in um, Firefox there. Uh, so finally, what I'll do is um, bring up um, this. Um, so this is Sauron, which is a script I wrote that um, works with um, things like Newsboat, um, YTFZF, and basically I just hit a keyboard shortcut and it brings up this um, little menu. And I can either, uh, if it's a video, I can pipe the audio to MP MPD, um, the music player daemon. Um, I can download um, the video. I can play it full screen. I can play it full screen on my second display, or I can play the video on the current display. Um, I won't actually show you those because uh, YouTube gets a bit funny about things like that sometimes. Um, but I think I showed it in a previous video um, uh, how, how all this works. Um, so that's basically the sort of setup. So again, um, query feeds, I can come across here and go Newcastle and I can basically see all the latest videos here. I can then come down, I can go download. Um, so I can download all those. And what I'm doing is um, I'm using Task Spooler, which was a program covered by um, Got Bloot, um quite a while ago. Basically, it's an application that allows you to um, queue up commands to be executed sequentially one after another. So what it will do is basically you can say, OK, download this video, download this video, download this video. Um, I, can, I can come in and go download, come across the next one download and what it will do is it will um, pass those off to task spooler and um, queue them up to be downloaded one after another so um, basically allows you to um, just come into your feeds go mark them all um, and have them downloaded one after another sequentially um, and, <clears throat> and that actually uses ytdlp and aria 2c in the background um, <clears throat> to handle the processing and aria 2c um, will download multiple uh, will create multiple connections to download the videos faster um, so that's those um, scripts and this is just basically um, don't it been annoying me the more the more feeds you have in newsboat the harder it is to find them uh, because by default uh, you will just have a list text um and yes you can sort of color code them and everything but it gets a bit messy um and you can't really i think oh yeah red that's news or you know unless you're like rain man and you can sort of remember those kind of things um so just having some simple dividers between these sections with um both the tanks on the left so you can quickly come down oh yeah tech um I, I just find having that on the left as opposed to um, that on the right, um, in my opinion, uh, it's just more usable um, because you, 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 unless you're reading in Arabic, you read from where you read from right to left. Um, we're going to be reading from left to right. So uh, you'd be scanning down here and you'd have to look across there, you know, move your eyes back and forth. Um, I just find that's easier um, so you can see all these and see you know what's got a new item um, you know how many new items there are the title um, the category uh, you know you come into it um, then you can open that in like YouTube 
the browser if you want um or or as i said i can just get that i can if i just want to listen to the audio i can just type audio and i want it full screen on my second display full screen download video which will basically pop it up on the current display um i can just escape out of that um and come back and that's basically um sort of writing news boat um and yeah i know you're supposed to sort of you know theme it up and you know have loads of colors and things like that but um i just prefer it sort of nice and simple because I, I i just find too many colors of things distracting um so that's how I sort of um, set everything up. So got your meta queries, your news, uh, your YouTube stuff, um, which you can divide into categories like that. And um, the other thing is if you press T on the keyboard, um, you'll get this list here where you can select tags. You just move up and down and this will show you um, all of those tags in one place. And this number to the right, um, doesn't indicate the amount of new posts or anything that is the amount of feeds so you can see in Newcastle I have six different feeds um, down here um, and as you can see it's actually pulling in this is a feed list so it's pulling in that vertical line so that's why we're getting that vertical line in this section but that's not too much of an issue really um, and the other thing I wanted to cover is you can actually if you want you can actually hide uh, you can see there's a notification there um, you can actually hide the header and the footer if you want. So um, if I just come back across um, to here, there's a section, um, if I can find it, I can't remember if it's here. There's a section where they have a list of things. I think it may be further down. Um, and you also have these things, kill files, where you can um, basically set um, articles to be ignored using this syntax. Uh, there's also an inter um, and this is where you can set query feeds. Um, there's also a interesting thing. Uh, I think it was up here. Um, this is the filter language. So these are the um, filters you can actually create. So you can actually um, create really um, complicated filters to filter stuff like like um you know the author is frank or john and the title is linux or vbsd um i think there's a section um you've got bookmarking are you this is scripts and news filters there's a section here that's quite interesting in that what you can do is create a script that will scrape a html page and convert it into an rss feed that you can then subscribe to with um at newsboat um and if you come across to i think it um i think it's on here or is it on newsboat um maybe one somewhere on here i think or maybe on the arch linux um wiki um there's some stuff basically showing you um how these filters work but what i wanted to show you is there's a um section where you can actually hide um, the headers and the footers if you so wish um, I think it's got to come down here somewhere uh, you can, these are the sort of custom dialogue so these are the default um, sort of templates uh, for those pages and how they're displayed and I think yeah and this is the section on highlighting text and how you can sort of highlight sort of text so this is how you like highlight a you know an https or http string or the feed title author um uh, macros and there was somewhere where you, it's got a list of um the things you can actually theme um and I've probably gone past it okay now here uh, this is it the appendix um so this will basically just um explain all the configuration options that you can put in Newsboat and how you can tweak them. Um, so article sort order, um, auto reload. There's a section um, about showing the tie, um, the the header bar and or or swapping them over. Uh, if I can actually find it, bear with me. Um, 
external URL viewer. And he, he's got lots of stuff for various um, news services you can use in conjunction with Newsboat. Um, I think it's called something like the header. Um, Highlight article feed, HTML renderer. It's here somewhere, honestly. Um, but I just can't remember what it's bloody called. Um, maybe called something like status or um, so you've got notifications, um, notification format. So you can actually specify the notification format that shows up in your desktop notifications, like how many new articles in X feed. Um, the notify program um, and this is stuff for like old reader um, you can set your pager um, and it's probably going to be right at the bottom when I start at save the path um, show title bar yes or no um, so the title bar is usually at the top of the screen, but see swap title and hints. So um, swap title and hints. So what swap title and hints does is, um, I'll just open this up. So the title is this thing at the top, so Newsboat um, 2.18. So you can see I'm running at a um, 2.18, whereas some of the styling options um, had only been introduced in Newsboat 2.2.5 or something. Um, so this is the title up here, and this is the hints um, at the bottom. And what you can do is you can actually swap those around so that the hints are at the top and the um, this section is at the bottom if you want to do that. So if you do swap title and hints, yes, that will uh, reverse them. Um, so you can do um, show title bar, yes or no. So um, if I quit that and come across to, um, let me just put this in, go, oops, what was it called? Um, show title bar, so show title bar. And there's one for the, no. Um, let's open that up now. Um, you'll see now the title bar has gone and um, it's just got the uh, queries here. We can also remove um, this section at the bottom, which I think is the status. So um, let's see. Um, was it the status? Uh, let's see what it says here. Uh, the swap title and hints. Um, Sure, show t status or something. Um, I can't remember what the bottom one's called. Um, so let's uh, let's see if there was. Uh, no, um, is it called hints or something? Uh, the hints bar, um, or the info bar. Um, as you can see, some here, these options like title uh, are in 2.2.5, and I'm running 20, uh, Ubuntu 20.04, which ships with uh, Newsboat uh, 2.18. So some of these options down here. Um, aren't going to work if you're using um, a version before that. Um, show key map hints, that's the one. So if I uh, come across here, um, show key map hints, no. Uh, and then launch news boat, what you'll see is um, we've now removed both the header and the footer um, so that. Um, it just looks like that, um, but I quite like um, I quite like having the the header and the footer. It just sort of sort of frames the page a bit more. Um, but that's how you can remove the header and the footer if you want. 
um, basically just come across into the documentation and read the um, this section down here, the, um, the appendix, and this has all the options and what they do um, and how you can set them to hide different stuff. And again, right up the top, it's basically got all the stuff about um, after you get past the, the, the configuration, it's got the tagging, um, how you tag stuff. You can put stuff in double quotes if you want two words. Um, and this is, again, how you set the um, the title for the feed. But as I said, what you want to do, at least with the configuration I'm using, is that you want to put the tag before the title. Otherwise, it will pull out the title as the tag, which is not what we want. And then it's um, got this stuff here I was mentioning about the scripts um, and filters. Um, and let me just have a look on the Arch Wiki. Um, because I, think, I think it might have been... Um, on the Arch Wiki. Oh. Muse boat. Yeah, that's why I didn't find it. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it was on here. Um. HTML as source. Okay. So this basically explains how you can create a script that accepts a URL and um, that's an HTML page and will format it as a RSS feed um, to basically display it in Newsboat. So it's, this guy has um, basically got some stuff here, hacky shell scripts to generate RSS feeds on the fly. Um, and it, they're using bash, um, as opposed to shell scripts, so it's um, bash, and they're using links, the uh, command line browser. Um, and basically, by just looking at one of these, you can see here um, what it's doing is it's sort of using cat um, to output some stuff and then using a loop to go through and create all the entries. Um, and this basically allows you to take an HTML page and um, format it as a RSS feed um, that can be used in Newsboat. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, come across to the Arch Wiki and have a look for HTML as source. Um, and also on the Newsboat um, section here, they're actually called Snowboat, um, Snow News Extensions. Um, and um, there's a um, short guide here and some, some scripts. And I think this uses like the web archive um, uh, from archive.org. Um, Showing here's like a Perl script someone's written, um, and here's some other sort of um, sort of scripts people have written. So some are sort of written in sort of Python. You can see here it's basically um, gonna you know convert um, a sort of web page into a, an RSS feed. In this case, a Wikipedia watch list. So. There's a series of scripts um, here um, about that, if that's your thing. So I just wanted to go through a couple of things I've come across um, on Newsboat. Um, and that was, um, again, uh, Grey Sky 2, um, Newsboat custom stuff on GitHub. Um, you can see he's sort of done several stuff, several bits here. I think this might be another one to um uh get in, um an rss feed from um uh, a kernel linux kernel review um so that's the newsboat site so if you come across to newsboat.org um it's going to have all the um instructions and again uh, i think the latest version is 2.2.5 um, but Ubuntu 2004 ships with 2018 and 2.18. Um, so some of the theming stuff um, listed in this um, latest README um, won't work, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. So, again, um, DJ Bauer, um, Newsboat Rice, uh, was on the newsboat subreddit um and this is his 
GitLab page uh, with the the layout, uh, you know, the screenshot and the URLs and the config. And again, um, the symbol, just put the single word um, as a title there. Um, and as you can see in his config, um, that is the, um, that's how he's sort of theming um, the articles um, and the feed list and the um, colorizing um, different tags and that's his uh, feed list format and again you can see that the percent T um, is at the end which is why you get the um, title at the end on the right hand side uh, like that um, but as I said I just prefer um, something really simple having the having the thing on the left a bit of space the line having it all sort of um, nicely lined up um, it just makes it much much easier to use um, newsboat to have the uh, categories eliminate um, eliminate uh, you know separated by um, a vertical line um, and as I said um, although you can get the line to go all the way across I don't think um, it it makes it as readable um, and again, you could probably, you, you know, you can colorize these different tags if you want um, and have, you know, go hog wild with, you know, garish colors all over the place. But I don't really think they add anything um, because you, you then have to kind of remember what, what the colors, what color scheme relates to what category or what have you. Um, and that's just how I like to do it. Um, nice and simple. I can move up and down. I can see everything um, come in. Um, see, we've got the link there. I can open it in YouTube, bring up Sauron, you know, play it with MPV, um, etc. Um, and again, uh, the other thing was the um, if I open this um, by default, I'll just show you what this looks like by default. So, this is what happens when you open a uh, link in W3M, the site by default, you'll see here. But all this crap we've got to go all the way down here to actually see it to see the content um whereas if i run the um, readability keyboard shortcut what it's going to do is strip that out and just give me the article much like you have readability um in firefox um there's also a secret flag to enable readability in chromium browser as well i believe um but this is how i um uh, enable readability uh, using a one line of Python um, just to strip out all the crap um, and give me the um, text and images. And again, this is the URXVT terminal, um, no fancy terminal like um, Alacrity, Alacrity, which actually, funnily enough, you can't. Um, the only way to install Alacrity. Um, uh, you can install it with cargo, but it's in the snap. You can install it as a snap, but it's not in not in the uh, repository. Um, and again, I can bring up this menu to actually um, run any W3M function, uh, which I showed in a previous video. But that's basically um, just making Newsboat a bit more usable. Um, uh, with a little bit of theming um, and again you can go hog wild with colors and stuff um, this is just um, the way I like to do stuff so I'll put links to all of this um, under the video um, but it's very easy to set up um, and again basically I just ripped off um, DJ Bowers um, config and um, I said the only things I was using with these two lines here I just changed those to default and this was his feed list format um, which again I changed um, to this so basically I have the um, I have it swapped around um, and the sort of takes on the left as opposed to the right which I just find um, a bit nicer but enough rambling um, that's basically the setup that's how you can sort of make things a bit more manageable with news boat um, 
integrate it with other um, applications um, so that you're not using like YouTube and um, you know actually using MPV um, to watch videos um, uses about half the CPU um, that playing it um, in a browser does so if you typically fire up um, uh, YouTube in a browser like um, Firefox or uh, Chromium, you'll see uh, when you run top that it's actually using, uh, I think it's web content, will be using a hell of a lot of CPU, sometimes like 70, 80% or something. Switched and used both, it just drops right down the um, the usage. So it's a really good way to um, actually subscribe to all of your favorite YouTube channels. Um, you know, and with the desktop notifications, if you've got Newsboat left open, you'll actually um, get a you know a notification um, saying you know you've got a new um, new new article in a in a feed, and um, you can then have a look at the video um, or the article um, as it is. But that's all for now, and I'll put links to all this stuff under the video.